You see? So, what happens here, the target country obviously does something wrong. If it's a free democratic society, there are many different movements within the society. Obviously, in every society, there are people who are against the society. They may be simple criminals, ideologically in disagreement with the state policy, conscientious enemies, simply psychotic personalities who are against anything. And finally, there are a small group of agents of a foreign nation, bought, subverted, recruited, right? The moment all this movement will be directed in one direction, right? This is the time to catch that movement and to continue it until the movement forces the whole society into collapse, into crisis. So that's exactly the martial art tactic, judo. We don't stop an enemy. We let him go. We help him to go in the direction we want them to go. On the stage of demoralization, obviously there are tendencies in each society, in each country, which are going to opposite direction from the basic moral values and principles. To take advantage of these movements, to capitalize on them, is the main purpose of the originator of subversion. So we have religion, education, social life, power structure, labor relations, and finally we have law and order. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the areas of application of subversion. What it means exactly in case of religion? Destroy it, ridicule it, replace it with various sects, cults, which bring people's attention faith, whether it is naive, primitive, doesn't really matter. As long as the basically accepted religious dogma is being slowly eroded and taken away from the supreme purpose of religion, to keep people in touch with the supreme being, that serves the purpose. Therefore, replace it, accept it, respected religious organizations with fake organizations. Distract people's attention from the real faith and attract them to various different faiths. Education. Distract them from learning something which is constructive, pragmatic, efficient. Instead of mathematics, physics, foreign languages, chemistry, teach them history of urban warfare, natural food, home economy, <laughs> your sexuality, anything. As long as it takes you away. Social life. Replace traditionally established institutions and organizations with fake organizations. Take away the initiative from people. Take away the responsibility from naturally established links between individuals, group of individuals, and society at large, and replace them with artificially, bureaucratically controlled bodies. Instead of social life and friendship between neighbors, establish social workers' institutions. People who are on payroll of whom? Society? No. Bureaucracy. The main concern of social workers is not your family, not you, not social relations between groups of people. The main concern is to get the paycheck from the government. What will be the result of their social work doesn't really matter. They can develop all kinds of concepts to show to the government and to the people that they're useful.